Hey, I want to take a second before this video starts to tell y'all to check out The Rooftop Experience, a podcast run by my buddy Havoc Network, where me, him, and various of our friends say and do some absolutely outrageous shit. I didn't, I didn't I knew know that. that brown little, had a brown little floaty chow dick on him. I didn't know <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck is that thing on the right? I shouldn't say that. <laughs> That's um, I'm sorry. I'm so scrubs as Wilbur Robinson. Suddenly, Wilbur <laughs> is just out of my shrug television. My boombox <laughs> malfunction says playing various audio from XX. <laughs> Over on that channel, we watch memes. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> <It's a bazooka. laughs> Let's see what he says. Maybe it's not that bad. Why Agent Cassini is some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> We get heated and argue over shit. Dude, it's supposed to be fucking orange! Look at it! Suck my that, dick! Yeah, yeah. That, that's way more orange. Sometimes we play games. And it's very... Dude, but they're also going to get on my nerves a lot more than an ugly person would, and I'd want to fucking strangle them. If the, the engine fails while I'm flying the helicopter, there's a chance that I can land it just well enough to... I might I might still get fucking hurt, but I have a higher chance of, of living that. In a helicopter? If the an engine Matt, I don't think you an engine failure is not the same thing as the engine just blowing the fuck up. The engine and we react to some pretty wild stuff going on on the internet. Oh hell no, yeah, no, this, no! This is long as fucking dirt. Okay, so Actually, TL, no. Uh, okay, yeah, go ahead, Andrew. I was gonna say TLDR, the nigga, the nigga is innocent. He's just weird. That's literally it. He's just weird as shit. If you enjoy my content and want to see me in a raw, unfiltered unscripted format be pure unadulterated dumbass head over there and subscribe to the channel the podcast is also on spotify so if you want to listen to us be pure head asses while you're driving or something now you can a link to the channel and the spotify are in the top of the description down below now without further ado on to the video Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Jed here. Action games are some of my all-time favorite games ever. And recently, a new action game has been on the horizon, and that game is Stellar Blade, which actually recently got a demo released, and that's what we're gonna be talking about today. Let's talk about it, shall we? Stellar Blade is a game developed by ShiftUp, the same company who developed the games Destiny Child and Nikkei Goddess of Victory, both of which are actually mobile games, so it's cool to see them work on a full-on console game. Stellar Blade is the story of Eve and her efforts to reclaim Earth from alien invaders known as the Nativa. Eve's entire team is slain with her and another member, Taki, being the only survivor. However, after being cornered by an Alpha Nativa, Taki sacrifices herself to protect Eve, though before the Alpha Nativa can also kill Eve, she's saved by a survivor named Adam who helps her on her journey. Eventually, the two reach a parking lot, and at the top of the parking lot, they run into a Nativa known as an Abaddon, and after fighting it, the demo ends. Yeah, it's a relatively short demo, lasting only about an hour to an hour and a half, but it's a fun hour and 30 minutes. Really fucking fun. You only get to play through the first section of the game, though thankfully that's not all, as after beating the demo, you unlock the boss challenge, which unlocks a new boss for you to fight much later in the game with a much stronger Eve, who now has tons of new skills, tons of new items, and three new outfits, and all of them are absolutely gorgeous. The boss is actually really difficult too, and it's a really nice challenge, even more so than the previous fights that you would have done. I died so many times fighting this boss and it took a lot of getting used to this boss and the way it fights but it was a damn good time. I'm also really glad that you get to fight this one all the way through as sadly you don't get to completely do the Abaddon fight at the top of the parking lot because after you get to a certain point in the boss fight it cuts straight to a trailer for the full game. An absolutely badass trailer that got me excited but still, pause the video. I know what I just said, I know what you heard. Hey, this is Editor Jet here, I'm coming in to say I'm a dumbass. <laughs> so before I get one of the comments pointed out and calls me a dumbass, I'm calling myself a dumbass. Why? Because I just said you don't fight the Abaddon fight all the way through. Turns out I was wrong. Because I had written this script when I had just finished the boss and I had just finished the demo all the way through. So I was kind of a bit out of it. So I probably didn't even notice that you do beat the Abaddon fight. But I've played the demo now two pa times past this for supplementary footage. And... I was wrong. <laughs> so forget forget what I just fucking said. I'm a dumbass. 
you do fight the Abaddon boss fight all the way through, and then it cuts to the trailer. But the transition is so smooth, though. That's one thing I do want to give this credit for. It's such a smooth transition. I didn't even fucking realize at first. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna go now. Back to the video. Bye. Though gameplay is very visually stunning, popping, and fun to interact with. There's so much detail in the gameplay, even in just the demo alone. And that one thing, this demo, and it seems like the entire game really excels in detail. This game feels so detailed and stylized, but also so real. The blood, the way the rain falls off of both Eve and even affects the screen, the way enemies attack, the way things look is genuinely astonishing. Especially the characters. Adam looks really cool. Taki is gorgeous. It's a shame she dies so early because I would genuinely love to learn more about her because she does seem like a cool character. And then there's Eve. Good God, don't get me started. Eve is stunning. She... What is that fucking noise? Sorry about that. Fucking alarm went off. I forgot to turn it off. Anyways... Eve looks amazing. There's so much detail in her model and outfits and the way the environment affects her model. Like how the rain falls off of her body, how her hair falls to her side when she stops running. You can definitely see the way both Nikkei and Destiny Child affect their work on this game and its style, specifically in regards to Eve. I also love how much the game gives you just off the jump, and while it doesn't give you a lot, there is so much detail and stuff in just the small amount that it does give you. The gameplay gives me the same vibe as games like Bayonetta, Scarlet Nexus, Nier Automata, Astral Chain, and so on. Funny enough, the dev team for the game actually admitted they were inspired to buy both Bayonetta and Nier Automata when making this game. You can definitely feel that in both gameplay aesthetic and the aesthetic of even the way she looks. God, he is fucking beautiful, man. Another element where you can really feel the inspiration from these games is in the music and sound design because it is phenomenal. Whether it be the ambient music of the home screen The absolutely badass themes that play for the boss challenge. And a bad instinct because it's fucking sick. The epic and climactic feeling of the intro cinematic theme. The cool yet ten song of the overworld. Or my personal absolute favorite, the super chill song of the camp. There's also the menus which are stylized in such a cool way that definitely fits the whole realistic yet 
techno vibe the game has going for it. And I'm really curious as to what the other two upgrade circuits for EVE are. There's that's all there really is to talk about for this game though in the demo, and frankly, I couldn't be more excited. Star Blade is a game with beautifully stylized visuals, fun gameplay, dope music, and is packed to the brim with tons and tons of detail. Initially, I wasn't sure about the game, though the game definitely looked like a game I would play, so I decided to give the demo a try and I couldn't be more glad than I did, because god was it fun. The game releases at the end of this month at the time of recording this, so I will definitely be buying the full, be, be buying the full game when it releases. If this game has your interest at all, download the demo on PlayStation if you can and give it a try, because I'm positive you'll have a damn good time just like I did, if you're into games like the ones that inspired it. I'm usually more skeptical about games and I'm typically not the type to give them to hype, but I'm very fucking hyped for this game, especially after playing the demo, and no, I certainly am interested in this game, its story, and couldn't be more excited for this game to release. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm so glad I could get my thoughts on the Stellar Blade demo out there because this game does genuinely seem like a lot of fun. Now that the video is out though. I will be going back on hiatus just to stock up on videos before I move, as my move would end up getting delayed, which I did actually make a community post about. But if I didn't see, now you know that that that's that's why I've still been gone. I've just been stocking up on video. Just wanted to get this out there because the game comes out later this month, and it really does have my interest. Admittedly, I'm curious to see if Shit Tough will put any references to Nike or Destiny Child or any cosmetics to them in the game. But we will just have to wait and see for time. Anyways, I'm just waste the time now. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you didn't, you can tell me how much I suck as both a YouTuber and a VTuber in the comment section down below. Peace out and enjoy yourself. Wondering just how long is death from birth? I just like a burning piece of curse. All the life of thoughts in my mind, man, I need a purse. Southside choppers, messing with the ride. Keep me on the edge till the brother getting locked up. Sparked up locker, chilling with the rider. Keep me off the edge till the brother gets